we came in last night. It took our team a couple of hours, and we were able to put in the system. And it all went really well. We are really thrilled to be um, bringing them our new active wall uh, system solutions. Um, we have some new technology in the classrooms today. We're very excited that these are the first active walls off the production line and straight here to Dutchtown Middle School. Um, they come complete with our Classflow Connect solution and it makes for an interactive, collaborative classroom. Teachers can uh, share resources, um, information, and ideas with their students, and it makes for just an additional layer of interactivity and collaboration in the classroom. Really transforms the classrooms here. We're very excited to work with Ascension Public Schools. They already have a very robust technology ecosystem in their school. Dutchtown Middle School is a one-to-one -one iPad district and we were thrilled to be able to, to work with them. They've been using our, our Classflow interactive lesson delivery system and we're thrilled to be able to come back and work with them and um, provide interactive services at the front of the classroom and to be able to expand the possibilities of what their teachers are doing and really be able to, to be a part of transforming the teaching and the learning that are happening here. Today, um, I'm teaching with the Active Wall. It is a 102 inch surface that allows for multiple students to collaborate in the front of the room. It also gives the teacher the flexibility to teach with what he or she has, as well as with what he or she may get in his or her classroom in the future. Um, for me, it's a bridging of past, present, and future classroom technology. How would a typical teacher use this in a typical classroom? So a typical teacher has a, present a presentation that he or she has made to teach with. In my case, I'm presenting a lessons on our roller coaster safe. And my students are going to read an article, they're going to write in response to it. Um, but to do that, I'm going to make a presentation where my students are more engaged as opposed to sitting and getting the information. So on my first page, notice that here I am going to start a video and my students have the question prompt in front of them. I'm going to go ahead and click play. And while the video plays, my students are pondering the question on their own screens. Why is the video an important component of this learning cycle? For me, anticipatory sets are the pivotal part of any lesson. It's what gets the students excited and engaged. So after the video, the teacher then gets the opportunity to introduce the lesson and have a conversation with students. So before I even dive into curriculum, I'm going to click poll and ask my students to text in, are roller coasters safe and why? On their screens, they get a picture of what I'm showing so they can refer back to the passage and they can begin typing in their answers using any connected device. They can use iPads, they can use Chromebooks, iPods, they can use anything. And those results, once submitted, go directly to the teacher. What value have you seen in being able to have this type of interaction in a classroom? For me, this is what truly drives instruction. Not guessing where students are or guessing what their learning levels are, but having actual evidence of their learning and being able to use that to drive my next lesson. What other elements does this offer for a teacher? This particular 102 inch surface offers a differentiated space which I think is fantastic because I can call up uh, two students to work side by side on content. I can work along with a student side by side. It lets me use the wider space to my advantage. It also is multi-touch. So if I am just having my students work on the surface, I can use the giant white space for multiple students to annotate and show what they know. So what I'm going to do is I want you to do A, 
and B. I'm going to send it to you right now. You're going to solve it on your screen. Then you're going to upload it to me. Okay? Let's go. I want to see evidence that you can make these proportional. I am a seventh grade math teacher at Dutchtown Middle School, and today's lesson was on proportional relationships. How did the active while help you in this lesson? Well, my students are very used to um, a small board where I can't call anyone up to the board to actually sh show and brag about the work. So I was able to call up four students during warm up to show that they can do these um, proportional relationships. So not only is it practicing, but it's that boost of confidence they need to get through the rest of the lesson. So it was fantastic. How is this going to help the students learn? Oh gosh, I have so many more options now of them being able to show and express their learning. Um, I'm now able to also show videos while practicing and annotate my work while I'm working. So um, it's limitless. Look at your examples here. The spectrum of hydrogen, helium, sodium, and calcium. And with your shoulder partner, see if you can figure out which two elements created this spectrum. Today's lesson with the new active wall was a spectrograph. So they looked at example spectrographs. And uh, then we advanced toward the latter parts of the lesson and looked at what's called a Hertzsprung-Russell diagram or an HR diagram that compares luminosity to temperature. So they had to interpret those diagrams, which they could uh, uh, then share to the screen. And they created some. So using data, they created a Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. And we were sharing, so they were able to compare those results with each other on the active board. How did today's lesson be enhanced by the active board and how would you have done that lesson without the active wall? Um, well we were able to with the with the active board uh, that we're, you know that we're still figuring out all the things that it could do we can share multiple students up there. Um, they can go to the board, they can draw on top of the board, so if one student presented an example and showed what their HR diagram uh, would look like we could send another student to the board and you know they could make corrections to it so they can alter so they can kind of critique each other's work um, so there's tons of different things that it's allowing us to do <laughs> if we didn't have the board then you know obviously we can't share uh, with with class flow we're able to share it to their screens but if we don't have the class flow and the active board then you know you have traditional paper maybe you have a whiteboard where you got to take the time to draw the diagram and bring students up so this is much more interactive and it's quick all right, so we are coming off of our um, chapter dealing with proportional relationships. And before I tell you what we're doing today, I want to see if you can figure it out. On your screens, you will notice here's a problem. It says Ms. Moore is trying to figure out the cab service with the best deal. With your group, you are going to write the equation. Now, the reason why I shared it to your screen is so that you can actually figure out the equation on your screen. You have your markers, you can write on your screen, you can write on your desk. You guys both need to come to a consensus about two equations that match this relationship. I am an eighth grade math teacher. Today's lesson was a lesson on systems of equations and having the kids identify the solution to the system. How were you able to utilize the active wall? I started out the lesson by having the students investigate what they, uh, before they even knew that we were doing systems, um, they had to investigate and, and send up their information um, on the problem and then they had to discuss it. So they're, they're, I, they're investigating it themselves and coming up with what we're going to do. How does the active wall and the interactivity of all the students being able to participate help uh, in education? Well, it actually helps the students learn because they can compare their work to each other and they can um, make their work better, which is what their goal is, what they want. How do you feel about being uh, selected as one of the first classrooms in the uh, country for the active wall? Well, it's pretty cool. Um, that's what the kids say. It's pretty cool. But we are very grateful that we've been given the opportunity to be able to use this new um, interactive wall in our classroom. What's the difference between teaching with the uh, active wall and teaching the traditional way? Well, the active wall is real time. And what I mean by that is that the students can get uh, feedback and they can actually talk and discuss the lessons as they're going on in the moment. And the old teaching just didn't allow for that. I'm excited to see my students engaged and um, having them actually become the leaders of the classroom. And, and teaching themselves. Hopefully they'll become um, more of leaders and they will 
um, guide the lesson instead of me just standing up there and saying this is what we're doing today, the technology will help us guide into what they actually need out of the lesson. What kind of response did you see from the students in terms of being able to understand what, what today's lesson was all about? Well, when they get to discuss and they get to share their work and they get feedback on their work, it helps guide them into, hey, you know, this other person had this and I really like that answer and so they make their work better, which is always a learning opportunity. We're so excited to be unveiling this uh, fabulous Promethean wall for our teachers here today um, and uh, to have them be able to experience with their students what it means to truly be able to interact with technology in the classroom. What was your reaction when you got a chance to see it for yourself? Oh, I was just could not get over uh, what was possible in terms of transforming how kids interact in the classroom. It has the potential to completely transform the learning experience for students. We've had partnerships with Promethean for quite a while in our district. We have over 550 Promethean boards currently in the district, and our teachers are um, very, very accustomed to the software. Uh, but what this adds to our learning experience is the ability for all students to have a voice in the classroom and for teachers to be able to monitor everyone's thinking in the moment and provide feedback, not just the ones who raise their hand and share their answer. The teacher will have the capability of all students sending her their answers and she can share it as strong models on the board. Um, it's just limitless the possibilities that this new technology is bringing into the classroom. Our introduction of technology has been coupled with uh, a just really strong rigorous instructional program and we have indeed seen tremendous results. In four years we have gone in our Louisiana accountability system from having six A schools to having 16 a schools. So the results have just been amazing. Uh, anytime we could get kids interacting with technology that will help them become better students, but not just that, help them succeed in life uh, because our world, our 21st century society, requires that kids are able to function in this way. And this kind of technology will allow them to be more creative. It'll allow them to think, to problem solve, uh, go beyond a typical classroom and what you would expect there. So extremely excited. The kids are going to benefit from this tremendously. Our teachers, our school, our entire district. We're very excited. Uh, our teachers have really embraced technology and uh, we look forward to being able to, to take this next step. What did you think when you saw the first lesson? Uh, it, was, it was outstanding. Uh, I like to see the kids' faces when we, when we pull back the curtain and they got to see exactly what it was all about, so it was great. I'm extremely excited. Louisiana's been on the cutting edge with about 27,000 um, Promethean classrooms, but this is the first time that we've ever had the complete solution of ClassFlow, which is the greatest um, collaboration, feedback, and motivating system for students because it gives all the control to them. And it's completely cross-platform, so it works actually with all of the older technology from um, even competitive products not only with Promethean. And since there's about 2.7 million lessons out there, it, it, they're able to continue to use those lessons without starting over, which when you're talking about student achievement and test scores, you can't afford a down day. So that's the beauty of ClassFlow. It takes us to the next generation of technology, but it maintains the investment that we have in the lessons and in the human capital the actual teachers and all the what they've learned over the last eight years of using this technology. These kids are digital. They grow up with high definition, they grow up with video, they grow up with media, they grow up with touching, they're multitasking. This allows them to collaborate not only with each other and they do multitask and they do hear everything, but also with the teacher to actually solve problems that are going to make them career and college ready, which is the whole purpose of um, this type of education. I'm in eighth grade and we were learning about how to understand the equations and graphs and how to see that they're proportional all things like that. How did the active wall help you with today's lesson? Uh, it made me feel more involved in the lesson and it made me feel like the whole class was like a family and stuff like that. So it was pretty good. What do you think of the active wall? I think it's cool and awesome and I think that it's going to help the school a lot by helping us understand the lessons and get it more. The main thing was just how big it was and like it was so clear watching everything 
and I liked how you can see everything so clear on the board. It's so big in the class. How did it help you with today's lesson? Um, it helped because you can see everybody's answers, not just yours, and it can help you like figure out what you're doing wrong if you're doing anything wrong, or it gives you like tells you if you're doing something right if everybody else has the same answer as you. The technology system that's here at Ascension Public Schools, that's here at Stutchtown Middle School, is very robust. It's been supported by the local community. Um, they've been very involved in developing a technology system here in the schools that is really going to prepare these students for their futures, prepare them to successfully graduate and go into careers, college, and really be ready for the future. Technology is such an important part of our lives and be able, being able to work with that in their careers, and we're really thrilled to be able to be a part of setting them up for future success. We're so excited, you know, to have this kind of interactive technology for our kids, where kids can come up to the board and really um, be able to interact with information and move information, interact with one another, is just amazing. What the active uh, active wall system is able to do is really enhance the level of collaboration in a classroom. So the active wall with the class flow connect is able to do wireless mirroring. So students and teachers can connect to all resources in a lesson. A teacher can send out um, a creative poll to students. They can send back their answers. They can be doing work on their iPads and mirror that back to the, uh, the active wall at the front of the room. The teacher can annotate over the top and um, you know, be able to, let's say they're working on a math problem, they can work through it and uh, maybe there's a, a certain uh, point that students wanna, wanna learn more about, the teacher can go into that, annotate over the top, and sit, actually save those notes and be able to share it with the class after the fact so they can reference it later. If people have questions like more information about the active wall, what should they do? Uh, they should visit www.prometheanworld.com.